Hey, you! Welcome to Top Tips in Two Minutes for Smartphone Photographers! Today's basic tip is... Orientation. Are you this person? Any and everything you shoot is shot in landscape. Such an easy bad habit to fall into, especially on smartphones. For some reason, I'm always meeting photographers who shoot primarily in landscape mode. There's always three ways to orient your phone when you take photos. One, landscape great for landscapes. Anything that is wider than it is tall is great with landscape. Two, portrait. Anything that is tall, like buildings and people, is great for portrait mode. And last but not least is the Deutsch Angle. That's right, originally called the Deutsch Angle, now called the Dutch Angle. The Oblique Angle, diagonal. Tilted. If you've watched any of my other videos, you will be aware that I've spoken about the importance of making sure that your horizons and everything lines up with your grids. And that's generally good advice, but sometimes there's a reason to shoot differently. In videography, when people shoot in a tilted, diagonal, oblique Dutch angle, they are usually trying to give you a feeling of off kilter, unbalanced, art, unnerving, tense. Usually these are scenes involving madmen or people whose agenda is a bit wrong and sick. In graphic design, diagonals can mean dynamism, energy, movement, drama. So if any of these words that I've just described are things you are trying to get across in a photo that you've taken, try the Dutch angle. Since it can be tricky to shoot Dutch angles well, Here's what I suggest you do to start. Try shooting without revealing any horizontal lines in the background. That includes floors, ceilings, and horizon lines. Three simple ways to make that work. One, shoot against the sky. Two, shoot with the floor as your backdrop. Three, fill the frame with your content. It's excellent for architecture, brilliant for live performances, flat lays and food. One last reason you might want to use a Dutch angle is perhaps when you cannot fit everything into your portrait frame or your landscape frame and you just need to angle things so you can fit everything in. And that's all I have for you today. If you found this video useful, subscribe, leave me some comments, actually, do me a massive favor and share this video with as many people as you can on social media so that we can get a little bit of a community going. I am Visual Magpie on all social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And like I always say, it's not how good you are, it's how great you're becoming. Until next time, take care.